Okay, so we take the copper wire and we bend it over like that. And then we come over here and we hang it like that. And then we take this baggie and we put that. And then you have extra storage space um, for free. We didn't have to add any brackets. Then you have these pegboard hooks. Uh, you take this kind and you set it aside. And then you take this kind and you grab your 2020 rail or 3030 and that sits in there and you can just add a fastener. And then you have uh, made this into, you get it. These vacuum tubes are all secured each with one of these pegboard mounts that features a hole. And if this was pegboard, then you would need one, two, three, thirty dollars worth of pegboard to, to carry all that. Instead, we use rail. If it were 20 millimeter rail, that's only eight dollars worth of rail. And then you add a little snip of the din and then just two fasteners holds this on wherever I want. So before I had this space with three pegboards and I was just hanging a bunch of these and it was taking up the whole pegboard. What used to look like this will change over to like this. We grab our standard M5 hardware for that and rotate that in and secure it. Now, if I need 2020 to become DIN rail, then I can just put two fasteners on the DIN rail like this and attach that on and change my mind easily. And if I need the 2020 to become half inch EMT, then I'll grab one of these O-rings and slide that onto there. And then I use that off the shelf bracket to slide that in there and leave the O-ring in there. If I need my 2020 to become a magnet, then you have these common bars like this with two fasteners and those will get changed out for the same. this hardware that I just showed. If I need power on a pegboard, that's two screws on this bracket or two screws on wood, same bracket, or I can put the electronics on the wood with two screws as well. So that's like 10 bits of information out of a few hundred and I don't really remember what's been created by me and what's normal. Ah, right. And if you need the 2020 on the wall, you drill these two holes on a corner bracket, a large one to pass through and the small one to secure with a screw. So I know there's like a million dollars worth of information in this lab and I need help to communicate it. It's like, what's new? What's this? What's this? What do we need to show people and do that?